that who I think it is? Probably. I don't like this character. <laughs> I, I see them. I like this depiction of, of him because it makes him out to be what exactly he is. <laughs> the voice is awful. I think it's supposed to be though. So cool. <laughs> I like. I like. I like the voice. It's... Has been oh, by you're gonna love this one. I want to see what you think of this one. Okay. The intro is a little slow, but... That's fine. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the WITF studio on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. Thank you all very much for being here, and welcome to the 1992 edition of Gallery 33, this annual event when we celebrate the richness of the artistic talent of the South Central Pennsylvania area. The next item, number 71. It is a watercolor titled Surfacing by Brian Swords of York. The oh. dimensions 19 inches <laughs> wide and 24 inches high. Brian Swords nice. works <laughs> absolutely marvelously here marvelously. on Gallery 33. His cartoon characters are delightful, and I think he, <laughs> he lets us each imagine whatever we'd like to with these things. These two rats imagine out of the water. <laughs> And they are having a good time, sure and that are. item number is 71, <laughs> oh, it is a white color titled Surfacing by Brian Soares of York, 19 <laughs> by 24, with an assigned value of $75. <laughs> the next item, number 592, is a photograph. Item number 71, a watercolor titled Surfacing by Brian oh Swords of God. York, it has an assigned value of $75. It, and this was 92? Yep. <laughs> That's fucking bizarre. <laughs> it's on PBS. Yeah. Oh my god. I didn't know it was real. I thought it was a funny edit or something. At oh first. my god, really? But it's fucking hilarious. But it, but it's real. It was on PBS. <laughs> what is this? Is this like a, a rating program or something? Or an auction? It, it's an auction. An art auction oh, okay. program. Oh, there they are again. <laughs> I mean, they're kind of cute, though. They are. I, I do really like the art style. Number 70 watercolor sheets and pillowcases by Viron Swords of York. Again, 19 inches wide, 24 high. How must these people have felt having to comment on this? Yeah. Feel like, like the things going through their minds. Like, this is a fucking kid's show. What is this on? It's a playful. Uh, it's not a kid's show, I guess, but it's PBS, which is mostly kid's the shows. They they never talk about the, the rat's junk. Just <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't think they can. They probably like, the fuck am I supposed to say about this? Assigned value awaiting the minimum bid of $25. Oh, my God. W-I-T-F. More like W-T-F. Item number 70, a watercolor titled Sheets and Pillowcases by Brian Swords. The high bid is $52 by Mike Sprout of York Haven. Item 734 next. A water <laughs> the smell of I think another one. This Brian one's like the least lewd though. Wide and yeah. Kind of, in a way. Now this is another in the continuing series by Brian. It's kind Sprout, of cute. Very amusing, <laughs> you uh, know? Drawings and paintings. Yeah. Rats Something's. Yeah, it's obvious what's going case, on, but. Fur, two in a hot tub. <laughs> Obviously enjoying the evening. And what the hot tub obviously. not the bathtub. <laughs> the bathtub, yeah. Is a watercolor item number seven thirty four by Brian Swords of York. It's twenty four inches wide, eighteen inches high, with an assigned value of seventy five dollars. Item number four sixty four. That's just the assigned the value. Some of them sold for like two hundred. Damn. Yeah. People the really liked these rats at the time. <laughs> Miles and DF would have gone item. fucking nuts at this auction. This <laughs> bid start at five thousand dollars. Jeez. By Brian Swords. The high bid is seventy-seven dollars from an enormous Child's bidder. potty chair. <laughs> Who? Five bucks. John Oliver bought this for a thousand dollars recently. Really? Yep. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. 
experimental animals and has developed into a experimental whole animals these rather unusual rats involved in all types of normal okay, why you tell me? <laughs> uh, this normal human activity why did they zoom in on that i don't know they must have no idea. He said this normal human activity. Yes, so. yeah, I heard that too. And those are the items that we have. No, we have 650 here, don't we? And we currently have a $30 bid on that. And we all have stayed up late. This is item 735, the watercolor Stay Up Late by Brian Swords of York. And uh, our current bid is uh, sixty dollars, and that's it. Now this is going to be your last chance to see these items, and bidding will close very soon. So call back often as you like, but get in now. That's it from Area C. The assigned value is one hundred dollars. Oh my Another God! Good my luck on this the last one. Piece of art. <laughs> Item number sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. It's the funny <laughs> number. <laughs> By Brian Swords Exchanging of fluids. Are 24 yep. inches wide by 19 inches high. <laughs> and this is really, Again, we were saying, kind of a companion piece. This lady kind of loves his art, by the, the way. Previously, uh, actually, this one should have come up first, and that should have been the later piece. She comments oh. on a lot of his art. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it also is she seems to understand exactly where he's going with it. Again, I think so. You'll see in the next video I have up here. I haven't included all of them, but yeah. The dimensions are 24 inches wide by 19 inches high. The assigned value is $75. Thank you very much, Avril, and thank you very much, Kathy. There you have it. It's very much. Then again, 75 bucks back then. That's still a lot of money. Yeah, it was. It's like 150 bucks today. But it, his artwork started like a lot cleaner. Yeah, it did. And as it goes on, it gets more and more erotic. Oh, that fell off. Yeah, I was gonna comment, did that just fall off? It, it seems more like it, it's, they started off as suggestive. And they just got less and less suggestive and more and more like, obvious. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if this guy was just like, let's see how long I can go to in this before they stop taking my art. <laughs> he actually got really mad when they declined uh, his future artwork. They were worried about the FCC. Yeah, and now they're... Thank you very much, I think that's it for the artwork in that video, but... The, I wanted to show the earlier stuff a little bit, so this one kind of shows that. Oh, okay. You can see how it kind of started a little cleaner. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. <laughs> I think for like three or four years he was on this show posting and his artwork and it was all just studio, rats. <laughs> that's hilarious. It must have been something that he, he planned. Like, let's see how far I can post this. <laughs> yeah, like a prank. I think he did yeah. call it a prank in an interview recently. Which has been awarded judges citations. That's fucking great. <laughs> to see how far he can go with it. The items at this table are part of 20 works, 10 each in art and crafts, and they have been chosen from nearly 500 pieces overall to receive you, a special you citation You can tell that they weren't allowed to have any sort of negative comments. They always had to make positive Brandy comments Blue, about the artwork. The yeah. Oh, so yeah, like, I definitely picked up on that. Experimental <laughs> animals. They try to make it like right. a political uh, statement or something. <laughs> in all sorts of normal situations. <laughs> now these are some of the works of our judges that our judges have selected as among the best in this year's well because that's their job to sell the art piece yes. so they can't say anything bad about it yeah but apparently a lot of them were surprised by how popular they were it's like huh people like spending good money on this stuff <laughs> people love spending money on absolute garbage though yeah so the dimensions are See, this and is half inches wide by 17 That is really cute. High. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is a marvelous mixed media work. It's uh, The art reminds me of Mouse paper. if there you've ever crafts. seen Mouse. I don't know. It looks so familiar to me though. Very, very witty <laughs> take off on the future of art in America. 
In other words, it's, it's up to the viewer simple, to but it's really it's nice. Kunst or kitsch. Uh, it looks like a I Bob like uh, Bob Ross knockoff or and, something. Uh, the use of lettering what, on the TV? Itself, yeah. Good. Yeah, I was actually just going to say that. Like, is that supposed to be a Bob Ross Again, this is joke or something? <laughs> the media mix, or the mixed media, I should say, titled The Future of Art in America by Brian Swords of York. The dimensions are 24 and a half inches wide by 17 and a half inches high. The what is cunst? Is $50. We're um, for minimum art in like German. Is. Oh, because I know yeah. what kitsch is. <laughs> Let's start with item number 486. This was the mixed media. It's called The Future of Art in America by Brian Swords of York, 24 inches wide by 17 and a half Painting. inches wide. Painting. What a, what a clever Art title. Painting. Value. It's also <laughs> one of our overbid items. Man, <laughs> titles are hard. <laughs> yeah. About a few seconds ago. Item number 940. And these are the high bidders for the last area. Oh, is F. this the one? Item number 486, The Future of Art in America by Brian oh, no. Swords. The Not high yet. bid is $78 <laughs> from Daniel Sowers of York. There's a really Item fun one coming up. You'll see what I said about the lady. Oh. Oh, Item here at Hamilton Bank uh, area I caught a peek at it. 480. Oh, it might be it's the next Alice one. The Rat and Her Mate by Brian Swords of York. 24 <laughs> oh. and a half inches wide by 7. You can't see his junk in this one, so. <laughs> Is that one supposed to be a girl? I assumed they were both guys. No, I, I think that one's female. This, I uh, and the guy is the one whose junk's hanging out in all the pictures. All the time. <laughs> I, I didn't... He gave her, like, no, um... And I think there's female features. <laughs> she has a slimmer jaw. To, to That's about yeah. it. And a bow. And yeah. no junk. <laughs> yeah. 480 titled Alice the Rat and Her Mate. A great title by Brian Swords of York. Dimensions 24 and a half inches wide by 17 and a half inches high. The assigned value $50. And those are the items up for bid here at Hamilton Bank Area T. If you see some. This just fascinated me. And item number 480, yeah. Alice the Rat and Her Mate by Brian Swords. <laughs> this is on TV. From Victoria at a time where right. people Don't didn't understand what it was. Soon, so call now. Welcome Man. back I to wish Area I could be, W. I wish I could be this This guy. is it. Hero. This is the producer, one. And Ann Fitzpatrick as our auctioneer. Let's begin with our first item, number 320. This is an acrylic titled Brian's Father. It is by Martin Plant. Item number 487 is titled Rat Love by oh. Brian Swords of York. <laughs> the dimensions are 17 and a half inches wide by 24 and a half inches high. The assigned value is $50. The bidding starts at 17. This is really a wonderful piece. Uh, very cartoony, but the faces on the animals are so expressive. The artist has done a series of these. And I think every one that I've seen so far is even better than the last. I just love the expression on Alice the Rat's face because she's really in ecstasy. And this is item number 487, titled Rat Love by Brian Ford of York. The dimensions and the way she puts it, too. Mm. She's really in ecstasy. <laughs> she sounds like someone who, like, wishes... She could be in that position or something. <laughs> yeah, I'll have like what someone she's having. Yeah, exactly. Of York, the dimension 17 and a half inches <laughs> wide by 24 and a half inches Ooh. high. The assigned value $50 currently has a $40 bid. Item number 783. The linoleum block print titled Birds by Julie Winnesky. I mean, I like it, but the expressions aren't that hard to nail right in that stuff. Yeah. The high bid was $55. yeah, there's not the much detail you can really put into that. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah. And, oh, I found him on Twitter. <laughs> I, I thought I'd include a, a little wholesome, um, little, little wholesome regular show meme here uh-huh yeah you just sort of um yeah yeah <laughs> can i view image on twitter so if i click that it's gonna take me away yeah i think that's Should the only I... way we can do it okay so exit full <laughs> i mean it's and i'll go it's this out. it's safe for work kind of <laughs> 
I mean, we're all in quarantine anyways, so. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Oh, we're we're not at work. Oh, yeah. Okay, I get it. <laughs> yep. Oh, hell. I accidentally clicked on a thing that made sounds. Oh, what kinds of sounds? Oh, did someone um, meme it? Someone replied to that. that of course thing. not. See? I saved you one. Oh my god, it's just ear rape. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that shouldn't have made me laugh that hard. I still haven't seen regular show. I haven't either, which might be why some of this is lost on me, but it's silly nonetheless. It, it seems in character in my heart. <laughs> we'll go with that. Um... Now, someone redrew uh, that uh, that John Oliver uh, one, that one that John Oliver bought. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and holy... Yeah, that's a little different. <laughs> yeah, it... It looks really cool, actually. I both like it and don't. I don't know. I Yeah. I... I it's interesting it's, to see someone else's take on, like, the same thing. Right, right. <laughs> I'll probably have to censor that one, though, because it's a little more detailed. <laughs> yeah. It's a little more realistic. Oh, man. Good luck with this next one.